this for Discovery was their very first project like this. They've never done a museum exhibition before. So we needed to talk them through that, work with them to have an understanding of what uh, this exhibition really would do, how it would support Mythbusters, how the Mythbusters would be involved, how they would be involved. In the process of creating such an exhibition, there are so many uh, different players at the table, literally. So we have uh, meetings and gatherings and discussions and charrettes uh, that, that all the different players from all different teams come together to really bring their ideas and their influences to the project. We had this fantastic meeting out in, in, in California at, um, in San Francisco at the headquarters for the Mythbusters and uh, this was the really the first time that our content development team uh, was able to come out and really talk directly with the people who make the TV show as well as the executive producer Dan Tapster who joined us from the UK uh, via Skype. Uh, and we were really able to talk about why we felt it was important to be able to transfer what they do on the television into a live exhibition for a museum. So we're, yeah. we're really creating that, that kind of a world where, yes, we're being led through by the Mythbusters, but uh, this is the opportunity for, for you as a nine-year-old or a 39-year-old uh, to come in and be, uh, be a part of, of what you guys do on, on the show every week. Staying away from you know, computer simulations, all that stuff is great because it's about making people want to ask questions. Yeah. You know, we're, we're thinking in exactly the same way and we'd like to have at least two, if not many more, of these experiments collecting the data and putting it up on the website for people to explore. We really felt it was um, this first kind of bonding experience, if you could say that, um, but it was. It was the first time that we were able to really sort of sit down and, and become one group and discuss how to move forward with uh, such an experience as this, how to transfer their language uh, into a museum language and really bring that together and unify it.